And finally, we come to the last step, and that is, well, we just tend to describe it as complete the attack, because there's an awful lot involved in it, and, and an awful lot of options. Uh, sometimes completing the attack is just stealing what you came for and get out. That's simple. That's uh, not... Uh, terribly important. Of course, it does, uh, again, you know, what, what they take, finding out what, they, what was accessed during an attack, uh, what kind of information was stolen, uh, that provides you with evidence. Um, if uh, you get hit by a breach extortion attack, somebody breaks in and then says, we've got your entire client customer base, um, all of their information, including all their emails with you, and some of them are very embarrassing, and we'll, we're just going to broadcast this all over the internet if uh, you don't pay us a ton of money. Okay, if you can look at what they accessed and say, well, they only access one particular system, uh, and this system is involved with generating colors for our website and uh, has no customer information whatsoever, then you'd say, you know, you're fairly safe in telling the breach extortion people, go soak your head. Uh, so, you know, knowing, just, you know, knowing what was accessed, that's part of the investigation that gives you uh, at least an idea of what you are potentially facing. So, uh, that is, uh, you know, even in terms of the simplest attack, get in, take something, get out, uh, seeing what was accessed, uh, what file was touched, when provides you with some information. However, uh, there are other uh, aspects to this. Um, sometimes uh, people will get very fancy. They want to come back. They've broken into your uh, computer. Maybe they are impressed by your computing resources. Maybe they want to use your computer. Uh, maybe they want to use your network. So, they leave themselves access. They um, may escalate the privileges of the account that they were using. That's, that's one possibility. They may create completely new accounts. Uh, they um, will you know, leave themselves easier access to get into your system. Um, but of course, they don't want you to know that. And so very often, if that is the case, they are going to make it harder for you in terms of investigation to figure out what they have done, what they are doing, what they have left in place. And so they may, in fact, change the settings on your security software. They may, in fact, edit your logs. Um, again, there are protections against this. Uh, you can log your system logs uh, to a printout of some kind. Now, you know, paper may be too slow, but there are high-speed uh, microform uh, writers, for example. Uh, so you can dump the information there. Um, sometimes you can dump it in machine-readable form. Machine-readable, but uneditable, unmodifiable. Um, so there is at least one copy of the logs that they, you know, the attacker can't get a hold of. Then, of course, uh, all you have to do is look for differences between the logs on your system and these... Uh, not necessarily off-site, but at least offline, or at least uneditable logs, and see, you know, has there been a change? Has 
uh, yeah, is there a difference? And if there is a difference, again, that gives you information. Somebody has been really sneaky here. Uh, that also tells you uh, fairly clearly that whoever has attacked you has left themselves a, an ongoing presence in your system. So uh, they are intending to come back, whether they are resident on your system now or not. You know, they, you know, they are intending to come back. Then you have to start looking, okay, you know, what are new accounts? Let's re-justify all the accounts that we've got here, which is something that uh, is a good idea to do on a regular basis anyways. Uh, but, uh, so, uh, creating rogue accounts, escalating those accounts, um, Sometimes they will, in fact, improve your security. They will close the vulnerability that they originally used to get access so that, you know, all the little hacker buddies can't come in and take over the system. The system is now theirs. Uh, unfortunately, you know, that improves the security against other people, but it doesn't improve the security against them. And so you're still kind of stuck with somebody uh, and as I say um, look at the logs uh, look at the activity um, and and have your logs uh, saved in such a way that you can compare uh, you know have multiple copies uh, have remote journaling perhaps um, have uh, access uh, uh, to modify the logs um, at, in at least one or two cases uh, very difficult but if not impossible so that you can compare and say okay you know there is a difference uh, that means somebody has attempted to mess with our system logs and we need to be more careful in our analysis of them. So, that is important to the investigation, by all means.